Hello. Let's all solve for the value of x in this nice expression. We are asked to find for x in x plus y all to the power of 2 equal to 49. You can infer from looking at this expression just on the side that this is easy. But I'm going to show you two simpler ways you can use in solving this mass expression. Now, I want to look at using algebraic expression. And to use algebraic expression, I want you to flash your mind back to this algebraic mass formula that says a plus b all squared is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So if we compare this expression with this, you find out that our a is equal to x and our b is equal to 9, right? So that means we can expand that expression uh, to represent that. If we expand that expression, we will have that expression to now become x squared plus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 9, right? Plus b squared, which is 9 squared, right? And that whole expression will be equal to 49. Now, in the next step, we are going to simplify. If we simplify, we'll have this expression to become x squared plus 2 times 9 is going to give us 18 times x is going to give us x plus 9 squared, which is 9 times 9, is equal to 81, and this will be equal to 49. Good. So we are going to uh, take 49 to this part, or we can simply say we we'll subtract 49 from both sides. So this will give us x squared plus 18x plus 81 minus 49. If you subtract 49 from this other side, that will be equal to 0. So what do we do? In this expression, 81 minus 49 will have x squared plus 18x, right? 89, which is positive, minus 49 is going to give us a positive because 81 is bigger than 49. And the subtraction will give us 32. And this will be equal to... Uh, this will be equal to zero. Great. So let's look at how we can simplify this expression. If we group and factorize, you are going to see that we are going to have two products. And from the grouping and factorization, we are going to have the product, the multiplication to become the product of 32 and the product of 32 is going to give us 16 multiplied by 2, right? And then we'll look at our sum. If we sum, what are we going to sum that will give us 18? Uh, it is still 16 plus 2, right? So that means 16 plus 2 are the factors. So what sign can we add to 15, 16 and 2 that can give us 18 and 32? it's going to be a positive and a positive sign. So we'll have x squared, right, plus 16x plus 2x plus 32. This will be equal to 0. So if we simplify this, we are going to have x, which is common between these two, if we bring out x, that will give us x squared divided by x will give us x plus 16x divided by x will give us 16, right? Then between these two, uh, 2 is common. We bring out 2. 2x divided by 2 will give us x plus 32 divided by 2 is going to give us 16. 
So this will be equal to zero. From this point, we can simplify. In the next step, we are going to see that x plus 16 and x plus 16 is common. So if we bring out x plus 16, which is one common term, we'll have x plus 16. And if all of these divide x plus 16, we're going to have x remaining. Two multiply by x plus 16. If all of these divide x plus 16, we're going to have plus 2 remaining and all of these will be equal to 0. So in the first instance, we can see that our x plus 16 is equal to 0 or we'll have our x plus 2 to be equal to 0. So we can find the value of x and uh, from this expression. x here will be equal to negative what? 16 because this will come over here or we subtract 16 from both sides and that will be the first value for x or we'll have the value of our x to be equal to negative 2 and this is the second solution to that mathematics expression. Or if we don't want to use this method, we can simply use the other method. Given the question, where is the question? In that question, we are giving x, right, plus 9. If you recall the question square, and we said it's equal to 49. So what if we use the square root formulas? If we decide to take the square root of both sides, we can clear the square. We take the square root of this, which is x plus 9, all squared. And then we take the square root of 49, which can be plus or minus square root of 49. So from here, you see that the square root will cancel out the square. And then we'll be left with x plus 9 equal to plus or minus square root of 49 is going to give us seven. So we're going to have two results coming out from here. The first result will have our x plus nine to be equal to a positive seven plus seven, or we'll have our x plus nine to be equal to negative seven. So what do we do here? With x equal to seven minus nine, I will have our x to be equal to negative 7 minus 9 because 9 goes over here to become a negative while positive goes over here to still become a negative. So our x will be equal to minus 2 which is still the same value as this I will have our x here to be equal to minus 7 minus 9 is going to give us negative 16. So you see, this is much simpler and faster, but it gave us the same result as the first one. Now let's check if our two solutions are right for this expression. To check, let's flash our mind back to the original question. From the original question, we are given the value of x plus 9 square is it equal to 49 now let's check out if that should be equal to 49 we have x plus 9 all squared will it be equal to 49 if our x is equal to negative 2 let's find out if our x is negative 2, we'll have minus 2 plus 9, all squared, right? And will this be equal to 49? If we look at this expression, minus 2 plus 9 is going to give us positive 7, right? And when we square a positive 7, will it give us 49? Of course, yet it will give us 49 because 7 times 7 is 49. So 49 is equal to 49. And that guarantees 
the value of x equal to minus 2 as a correct solution. What if we have our x to be equal to minus 16? Are we going to get the value of 49? Now let's check that out. From that expression, we'll have minus 16 plus 9 all squared. Will it be equal to 49? Now let's check this out. Minus 16 plus 9 is going to give us a negative 7 because 16 is higher. And will this be equal to 49? Now let's try this out. Will that give us 49? 7 negative negative square is positive so 7 times 7 is going to give us 49 so we'll have 49 equal to 49 so that proves to us that the value of x equal to uh, minus 6 is also a guaranteed solution to that expression so you see with these two solutions you can find the values of x in this mass expression given to us up there. I know you did enjoy watching this mass of, of solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass content. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.